all right today we'll be implementing kinesis here that is we will we'll be dealing with the real time data so let's uh, begin with the hands on all right we are at the aws console so let's uh, first go to uh, kinesis as per the architecture diagram if we flash the architecture diagram uh, we have uh, kinesis here so let's uh, first uh, go to kinesis we'll be uh, selecting uh, data streams uh, create data stream uh, please note the name of the data stream uh, because it's uh, very important we'll be using the same name or we should use the same name uh, when creating the uh, lambda so here if you look lambda producer so uh, it should have the same name as the kinesis otherwise our stream uh, will not flow uh, will not work uh, we'll be creating provisioned and uh, uh, there is a concept of uh, shards so uh, uh, for the shards uh, there are uh, two things let me open the architecture diagram to explain you and give you a better idea so uh, there is a producer so producer puts the data into the uh, shards and the consumers pulls the data from the shards so uh, shards can have like uh, the number can be 1000 something anything so depending upon that data uh, will be pulled by the consumers so i hope you got the concept of uh, shards producer and consumer because that is what is required in this tutorial to understand it once we are done we need to click on the uh, create button now the uh, next step if we look in the architecture uh, diagram so here is the s3 so let's uh, create one uh, bucket now we'll be creating one bucket uh, let's give it a name cloud guru amit random number so that no one uses this number we'll be enabling the uh, versioning uh, because uh, sometimes what happens uh, since it's a real time data there are many settings so we might need to uh, re-upload uh, the objects uh, to in order to test it so i'll be uh, telling you what are the challenges faced here uh, because um, uh, we'll be creating events as well so let's uh, for now uh, create uh, the bucket and go ahead with the uh, next step so our uh, bucket is uh, created let's uh, duplicate this tab let's navigate to the architecture diagram so here we are we have created amazon s3 bucket though it's a blank we need to upload a file but before uploading a file since it's a real time data we, we should be aware like as soon as we put the file it will be consumed or uh, the data will be you know, gone to the consumers uh, pulled by the consumers right so we are not putting the file let's configure everything and then we'll put the file so let's go ahead with this step now producer we have already created kinesis stream here so let's uh, create a producer so let's create everything from the scratch we'll be uh, creating one function uh, let's uh, give the name as uh, producer in order to identify uh, easily uh, we have the code in uh, node.js 16 so let's select that i have uh, already created a, a role in order to save some uh, time so let's uh, select this role i'll be showing you what's uh, there in the uh, lambda role so if we uh, look at the role it's uh, basically kind of kinesis uh, allow access um, um, then we have uh, allow for the s3 um, and also um, uh, we need cloud watch in order to test it so uh, for this demo let's uh, create this uh, we'll be creating the producer now so uh, our producer is um, ready we need to type uh, the code i have already written the uh, code so let's uh, copy paste this thing so let's uh, put the code so please note uh, as mentioned you need to uh, give the uh, name of the uh, stream name as per the kinesis what we have created so it uh, your uh, name should exactly match here uh, otherwise it won't work so please keep it in mind what what's your uh, stream name accordingly you need to uh, give the name so we are done uh, let's uh, deploy it uh, let's uh, create uh, the uh, consumers because uh, if you look at the architecture diagram uh, we have already created the producer lambda uh, now we need to uh, create um, two more lambdas for consumer for consumer one con uh, consumer two so let's uh, go back uh, to the uh, step uh, we'll be uh, creating uh, the consumer from the scratch let's uh, name it uh, consumer one 
the same step will be for consumer too definitely so let's um, uh, select the uh, existing role the previous role will work if, because that is what is required for consumer as well so let's uh, create this so let's um, write the uh, code for it i have already uh, kept the code uh, let's copy paste this thing let's uh, deploy it so yeah, uh, uh, we are done with consumer one. So now let's repeat uh, the uh, uh, process for uh, consumer two as well. So we can navigate there as well, but yeah, uh, let's uh, create it. Let's name it uh, consumer uh, two. Let's uh, select it node.js 16. Uh, again, we will be using the same existing role which i've mentioned will be uh, creating uh, the function let's create it let's uh, copy paste uh, the second code it's nothing uh, same code but just the number is uh, here uh, changed and that's it uh, basically just a replica of it uh, in order to showcase uh, consumer too so let's uh, copy paste and uh, deploy we need to deploy right everything Otherwise, uh, changes won't be reflected. All right. So we are done with these steps. Uh, so uh, the uh, next step, next, uh, let's go back to the uh, bucket. Um, we need to uh, configure uh, the, uh, especially the uh, properties for the events. Uh, let's uh, check event notification. Here we have. Uh, we need to create uh, the event. So our um, event, uh, we need to give it a name. Let's give it. Uh, uh, cloud guru amit uh, kinesis event we can write the prefix as well as suffix i have the files in .txt format on my computer uh, this is the uh, .txt file uh, i have created uh, two files to um, in case like uh, the port event doesn't uh, work i'll let you know why i have created two files um, so uh, these are basically two text files uh, you can create on this computer for uh, dummy or uh, test files and these are uh, as mentioned uh, text document so in the console we can mention the prefix uh, if we are known but for now we can leave it because uh, prefix we know like if we upload a doc file or um, anything that won't uh, uh, like uh, will be filtered let's say if i write dot txt then lambda will be looking for uh, just the dot txt files but uh, keep let's keep this uh, demo simple i'll not um, give txt though we can give it select all objects here uh, there is one challenge as soon as we select all objects um, this text will be gone but uh, this creates some problem i have seen uh, from my experience in day-to-day -day project activities um, that uh, the put events uh, especially this doesn't work we need to select all um, and this things all so we'll be doing uh, checking those in producer as well producer lambda so for now uh, let's do it let's uh, select the lambda function so we have three we are con uh, we are uh, bothered about the producer because if you look at the architecture diagram here so here see s3 is uh, connected with this producer lambda right so whenever we uh, put anything on our s3 so producer in real time uh, should um, um, uh, consumer should pull the data producer should put the data in the shards and uh, from that shard uh, consumer should pull uh, to consumer should pull the data so that is the uh, concept uh, we have selected make sure producer is selected do not uh, select consumer otherwise the logic will be wrong let's uh, save it so yes uh, we are done so let's uh, go back to the producer in the uh, configuration uh, let's uh, check the triggers there should be uh, uh, triggers uh, present as well so yes uh, now the trigger appeared because just now we have added the event so uh, here as uh, mentioned uh, just uh, click on edit here is the interesting part uh, if you look here select all objects so just select make sure to do this thing uh, because I have seen from my experience uh, sometimes this uh, even though you have selected all the four which is um, nothing but all the object uh, create event 
um it doesn't detect in real time so from my experience uh, i have seen this so uh, let's save it now so make sure to uh, carry out these tips in your uh, project as well otherwise uh, it will be uh, like breaking the head uh, what's going uh, wrong so i have ex- personally experienced it so uh, not a problem uh, let's uh second step will be for each uh, a consumer uh, let's begin with consumer one we need to activate uh, the uh, kinesis um so let's uh, uh, go to the config so we need to make sure that we need to activate uh, this uh, trigger uh, for both consumer one and consumer two otherwise um, uh, the consumers won't work in the cloud watch if we look later so let's repeat the process for consumer 2 let's uh, repeat the same process for consumer 2 uh, now let's go to the configuration let's uh, click on triggers it's currently disabled if you look we need to enable it so let's uh, click on activate and uh, save it uh, so yes uh, we are done with the configuration part so now let's uh, upload uh, the file because we are done with uh, everything now so now uh, it should be our uh, uh, kinesis stream should uh, work fine so let's browse if uh, browse these files um, any of the text file and uh, check the uh, flow let's click on add files all right let's uh, click on the uh, test object and browse it uh, let's upload it let's uh, click on upload uh let's uh, duplicate this tab will be uh, requiring now cloud watch um to check everything cloud watch if we check the s3 the object is uh, uploaded just now so we are at the cloud watch uh, console let's uh, go to logs log groups uh, let's uh, check whether entry is there for producer uh, especially or not because the first step uh, if we look at the architecture diagram is the producer and then the consumers right if a producer will pull the data um, and put it in the shards and uh, that data uh, will be pulled by the consumers so yeah we got uh, see consumer 1 consumer 2 if anything is not appearing just a uh, note this trick if any of your consumer is not appearing it means uh, the option is disabled the trigger is disabled right uh, so let's open the producer log and uh, check so if we uh, look here so here uh, we uh, we uh, got if we check the kinesis uh the name is there uh our event name if you remember uh this uh, shows good uh, this verifies that uh, it is the same uh, event this is our uh, check uh, bucket name is there so uh, this verifies uh, that uh, see the test file uh, the uh, producer has captured this uh, uh, via the put event if you check here see put event so that's what uh, we are uh, looking for uh, let's uh, go back Uh, to the log groups and check the consumer so if we check the consumer there should be uh, somewhere the uh, maybe the data yeah if we if you check here see hi cloud guru amit this was the data right this is the same data which we uh, wanted for the um, consumer to pull the data right uh, because that's what was there in our uh, test file check this is the exact same data let's put it side by side for easy comparison so yes uh that's all uh, was required for this tutorial to implement real time data we have checked we have put a data um, that is our test file in uh, s3 and it uh, our cloud watch uh, is able to capture uh, the um, uh, data and or the logs uh, here and we are uh, uh, that's what uh, the goal of this uh, demo if you look um we have successfully put the data producer has um uh, put the data in the shards and consumer has pulled the data from the shards 